in my line of work, I actually do have a fair share of people who look down on Garangunis um, because they think like, you know, they're uneducated and they can't speak English. Because I do have like customers asking me like, oh, uh, are you a college dropout? I get that all the time. My name is Brian. I am 29 this year and by profession, I am a Garanguni. we collect all those thrown out items and then we will just recycle them. A typical day for me would be getting to work at 9 a.m. and then we will be busy sorting out the items that we have collected and then we will dismantle them and we'll just wait for regular customers they would come in. When I'm not in the shop, most of the time I'll be outdoors doing collections from Ganguni collection points or disposal services. I actually work seven days a week all year round, except Chinese New Year. When I first joined my father in his business, it was quite a challenge because after graduating university, unfortunately for me, I couldn't get a job outside. So when I started working with my dad, the challenge was more towards why am I doing this? Like it's very like manual labor. Like why did I go through like the whole university just to sort out papers and like, you know, throw metals and stuff. My friend's reaction would be like, are you crazy? Like, why would you do that? You just got like a university de degree, why are you going into this? You know, and then you should have ambition, you should have your goals, you should like, you know, set yourself higher than like Ganguni. About seven years after working with my dad, I decided to set up my own company to set myself apart because there's a lot of like um, identity crisis, especially when you are like the boss's son. People would say like unkind things, like at the end of the day, you're just still taking your dad's money. And I think the main motivation is to really break out of that stigma and yeah, just to grow myself as a person. The main reason for doing what I do in my company is really about sustainability. I feel that there is a lot of wastages in Singapore, especially all those like bulky items. We really do get this on a regular basis and that's how I thought of setting up my company so that we could donate these items or dismantle them to recycle.